When children or young adults lose a loved one, it can be hard for them to understand and cope with the loss. But here at Camp New Dawn, they're given a safe place to talk about their loss and learn healthy coping skills that they can use for the rest of their lives. Camp New Dawn is a grief support program available through Compass Regional Hospice held at Camp Pocomath near Centerville. As the director of Camp New Dawn, Rhonda Knotts is passionate about giving campers the opportunity to share their grief and learn how to cope with it. Um, we try to teach our um, children and teens different ways that they can cope with their emotions, deal with their grief, in the hopes that as they grow and develop, they're able to still utilize these self-soothing techniques and coping skills to, to deal with life. Throughout the three days, they have five support groups, and those support groups actually focus on certain themes. Kids carry around a lot of burdens when they've lost a loved one, guilt, um, maybe something not said, maybe something said. Um, remembrance, the importance of remembering our loved ones and that's the way of keeping that legacy of love alive. Uh, there's, there's so much to be said about sharing. Um, you know, I think, I forget who it was that said, grief shared is grief diminished. So opportunities to share is the, is the biggest piece of camp. But Camp New Dawn wouldn't be a summer camp without a little fun in the sun. The kids sing, they dance, they do gymnastics, they act silly, so do the adults, and it's a great time of laughter after our um, remembrance time, which is very sacred, but very emotional. So it's a great way to switch gears and make sure that everyone lays their head on their pillow at night with a little, little gentler feeling in their heart. Yeah. But most importantly, campers learn that they are not alone. They have to do evaluations after their experience here at camp, and almost always it shows up somewhere on the evaluation. I found out I wasn't alone. I found out I wasn't the only one. And so I, I think there's a lot to be said for that. Death can unfortunately be very alienating. And a lot of people are afraid to talk about grief. And here, that's what we do. We, that's what we focus on, so. And it's necessary. It really, really is. Courtney Williams, the manager of volunteer and professional services for Compass Regional Hospice, explains why it can be difficult for kids and teens to deal with grief on their own. A lot of our kids, um, regardless of their age, our mini campers start actually at age three, um, and our high school group is all the way up to age of 17 and 18. Regardless of those ages, they're facing a lot um, in their daily lives, um, you know, with separation, with um, struggles at school, et cetera, and at, we're compounding that with someone that they've lost. And they have this wonderful opportunity to meet other campers like themselves who are going through a similar experience, be given tools from facilitators and trained grief clinicians that they're able to carry into the rest of their year and the rest of their lives um, to be kind of dealing with some of those emotions that they're handling to make it easier to kind of break apart um, and, and realize, especially with so many of the other adults we have participating, that this is a very normal, unfortunately normal thing to experience and, and that they really have a, a safe environment here um, and a community that wants to support them through something very difficult. And of course, Camp New Dawn wouldn't be possible without its wonderful volunteers. The majority of our volunteers have had personal losses themselves, which I think is what draws them to this program, and they really bring that when they're interacting with our campers. Our camp model is to pair each of our campers with an adult volunteer or a buddy, and through that our campers get to see adults who are experiencing possibly similar losses, how that impacted them, and they're able to develop a relationship that they're able to kind of share some of those struggles and again normalizing that grief that they're dealing with. So it's a wonderful outlet for our volunteers and adults to realize that um, this is an opportunity for them later in life if they need it. Um, it, it becomes very much a family. Uh, I think everybody takes something away. I think anytime you're doing any volunteer work, there's times that you feel like you get as much as you give, and I think this is certainly one of those programs that any one of our volunteers will tell you that they are getting just as much from this program as they're giving. Um, and our, our campers, it means so much, especially for everything that they're going through, that all of these individuals showed up for them, that they want to be here with them, they want to do activities, they want to learn about them, and kind of travel this journey for those few days that we're together. So it's, it's, it's a wonderful program. For more information or to donate to the camp, you can visit their page at compassregionalhospice.org. For QAC-TV, I'm Mallory Drummond, and thanks for watching.